top of the morning guys kish my world here brand new day brand new morning change of plans one more time uh, this car you see over here has burundian number plates and i was in my hostel over here when i was told by my friend and you see that there's a car coming from Bur uh, rwanda going to burundi express through tanzania and uh, they have a space for one person and if i want to join in and i say the bloody hell of course yes because uh, burundi going is really difficult because of the borders and everything so this is it man i've decided to go to burundi a random change of plans so i have to leave this beautiful beautiful space that i've been staying here and the weather is so rainy man but i uh, hope for better weather in uh, bujumbura burundi so yeah that's the day's plan uh, let's go to burundi man yeah unexpected but i love it that's the beauty of african travel so it's a private means so i hope like really this won't give me problems i had said no more buses or going by road but Sometimes you gotta compromise. Okay guys, let's go to Burundi. Alright guys, so I made it to the bus or the minivan, or I'm already inside here and we are traveling from uh, Rwanda, Kigali to be more specific, into Burundi and the border is closed and if you guys remember that was my initial plan to go to Burundi from Nairobi but shit hit the fan so it was not possible but finally dream is coming true to see Burundi yes it's a rainy rainy day as you can see it's really really wet so we are hoping for a brighter Bujumbura and uh, this is Alice Nyandoya the person who, you know, is also traveling to Burundi. She's a YouTuber from Kenya. And wow, gosh, look at these views on the side. Wow, truly the journey, the land of a thousand hills. Yeah, so we don't have like the top, top tier views as we had expected, but uh, it's all good, man. It's raining. Let's go and see how Burundi is. Brand new country, brand new place. Yeah, man, that is it. So, uh, guys, make sure you also check out Andisi here. She's a YouTuber from Kenya. We're gonna be exploring uh, Burundi with her. We happen to be in the same track, in the same area. So we decided, you know what, let's combine the efforts. But I have to say it's a much, much better type of travel, this one, because we are traveling like in style. It's like a private van, you know, and we are only like six people in this one. The driver, me and my neighbor, and two behind me. And uh, it only costs like 50,000, uh, Rwandis Frank, so I think it was a smooth deal. So this journey is going to take us 12 hours 12 long hours, but normally it's supposed to take five hours But the border between Burundi and Rwanda is closed. So we have to go through Tanzania Then circle around Rwanda and go into Burundi So don't be surprised if you see me in Tanzania first Even though Tanzania will also be like my final destination yeah man, that is it. African travel is not easy. Countries closing borders, disagreements, all these things. That's how it is. But we chose to do Africa this time round. Let's see Africa. Yeah man, that is it. Okay, let's proceed with the journey. And uh, if you see any nice views on the, on the way, we can see. That's Andisi filming her videos also. So make sure you check out the videos and subscribe to the page. Top of the morning, Kish, my world. Man, it's a crazy, crazy journey. And I have so much problems editing my videos. I don't know what's happening to my videos, but uh, I hope everything goes well. I am trying to work hard to make sure you guys get the top tier content. All right, that's it, my friends.
about here to Tanzania and then from Tanzania we go now into Burundi so we are at the border right now at the Tanzanian border it's raining like crazy yeah I'm gonna find out the name of the border then I'll let you guys know but uh, you know of course it's not too allowed to film in borders so I'm gonna be a bit discreet but as soon as we get out of it I'm gonna tell you more about the details how the nutrition process went yes that is it man and I think if we were going direct to Burundi if the border was open we would have already arrived in Burundi territory but because of politics that's a problem okay but I don't know boss do we have passport control eco passport oh. control what Pas Passport control, Iko? Yeah. Passport. Iko? Oh, okay. Because Nora to Nayenda too. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. But up in Tanzania? Yeah. Okay. Like in Apatia in Tanzania? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we are already in Tanzania and we are waiting for the border and passport control. That is, it's a rainy day. But it's very, very beautiful. Let's look at our passports stamped in and uh, we move. Amazing man. So, welcome to Tanzania. I'll be back to Tanzania again this month, but for now, this is a quick, quick stop as we head into Burundi. Alright, guys, so I have made it to the border of uh, Tanzania. So, this is officially entering into Tanzania, the Republic of Tanzania. And uh, of course, we have to come to Tanzania first because we have to go around in order to get into Burundi. So we have to transpass through two different countries. That's just how the politics are. And if you check down there, it's the border control. So there's a sign that says Rwanda. And uh, this is Tanzania. Yeah, man, that is it. So let's go on with the journey and see. We have like seven more hours left. So I'm here to get my SIM card so that we can get some connection and keep going. That is it, my friends. So guys, we crossed the Rusumo border, it's called the Rusumo border and we are heading straight now into Tanzania mainland and uh, you can see already from the outside the laws, the laws are very different the border border people, now they don't even have their helmets people are just like, you know, normal it's probably even trash on the road now yeah, and it's like literally a stone throw away from where we were so that's the difference of countries, you know, it's all about borders and laws. But yeah, we're heading to mainland Tanzania. So let's go. I love Tanzania, man. It's like my favorite African country. So I'm excited to be here. Yeah. guys so we are proceeding with the journey and uh, as we speak now currently I am at the border and this is the border between Tanzania on my right and Burundi on my left so actually as we speak as this truck goes by Yemen as we speak I am in the border of uh, Tanzania and Burundi so actually I'm in Burundi right now officially officially yes and this come and say hi I'm traveling with and this here Yaman yeah, and uh, we are finally in Burundi. How does it feel to be in Burundi? Hey guys, welcome back to Kishme World. Top of the morning, top of the morning, yes, although it's yes, not yes. morning. My name is Andisi Nyandoya. I'm a travel content creator from Nairobi, Kenya. Guys, I asked her how is Burundi and she started giving us all travel guys. Let me finish my tingle. <laughs> so this place is called Kobelo. Kobelo. <laughs> Kobelo. It's a border between uh, Burundi and uh, Tanzania. And yes. the first stop is the health center where they measure you COVID and you, you dropped your shit. You actually dropped my shit. Hey. Guys, okay, this is the border between Tanzania, uh, Tanzania and Burundi. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So remember, guys, this is a, a new country, brand new country. We are still exploring the area. It is what is considered to be the most 
poor country in the world, the most unhappy country in the world. Let's prove that point, you know. But I mean, to be honest, even if you check, this is just the border. And uh, if you go over the border that over there, there is like very, very good tarmac on the road and everything. And just a hundred meters from there, look at the kids already, man. They look like so desperate. The roads are already so terrible. They say it's the poorest country in the earth, but uh, I don't know, man. I already feel for them. Yeah, even though I'm just like a hundred meters away. Just the border is just here. But guys, this is the car we are traveling in. So we need to get back inside. And this is, do you notice over there, mm -hmm. Tanzania, yeah. there is like a tarmac road. And yes. Burundi, immediately the road is gone. It's rough. And they say this is the poorest country on earth. Yes. And yeah. then you are asking me how is Burundi. We've not even entered Burundi. No, how does it feel to be in Burundi? Because you know it's been a long journey. Uh, hey, from uh, okay. <laughs> the journey Yala. from Rwanda. <laughs> Let's to go anyway. They're waiting, on, they're waiting on us. So, guys, see you later. And here, the kids just having their field day, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> okay, that is it. We're changing money also. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are in uh, Burundi right now, officially past the border. It was a smooth transition, uh, nothing like South Sudan type of crap, you know. The only thing is, of course, they need some uh, chai. They were like, hey, can you give us some chai? And I have these kids who don't want to leave me. Hey, <laughs> Wagwan, you there? Yeah? <laughs> yeah man guys welcome to burundi the land of beautiful smiles this guy has really cute smile and eyes oh look at this one hey boss come kuja nione macho yako yeah look at these eyes hapana macho mzuri eh hey, hata wewe hey, that is it yeah mnafanya nini hapa what are you doing here what are you doing here Mkokazi? Amna. Mbona amko shule? Eh? Unini amko shule? Schooli. Schooli kusoma. I'm asking them why they are not in school studying, you know. Mbona? Mna drama tu TV hapa. Yeah? Angalia hii macho ya huyu. Yeah man, I'm telling him he has a nice eyes, you know. He's really good eyes. But yeah guys, this is Burundi. Yeah, uh, my mini first impressions. Tomorrow we're gonna go and uh, see how it goes. It's been a smooth journey to be honest, so far, so good. And we're trying to get into Bujumbura, which is like probably like four more hours. So we'll be there like around 10 a.m. Because now it is only 6 p.m. So we have like five hours to go. Hope everything goes well. Yes. Yes, camera, yeah. Yeah. Imba, Imba Wimbo. Eh? Imba Wimbo. Oh. I'm telling them to sing a song. I'm Taimba. I am Kimba Wimba now, but here, Pesa, El Fumbili. I'm telling them I'll give them some money if they sing for me a song. Okay? Yeah, El Fumbili, and you're in our Patia. Sai, sai. Sai, 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 sai. Let me look. Hey, hey. Okay, performance. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? They're going to sing for me. Wow. Hey, Ati? I'm going to sing for you. Wow. Hey, Sauti, Sauti, Sauti. Ati anachukua? Anaweka. Eh, anachukua? Anaweka. Aya dance ni sasa niwapatie pesa. Nyinyi wawili anza, nyinyi wawili. Aya simu dance kwanza na nyinyi wawili. Aya dance nione. That's coming me. Simu endele. Aya kwa hili. Aya endeni sasa. Okay. <laughs> hey, finally, I had to make them work for it. Now they are very happy. They are very cute kids. Yeah, so at least they are happy for the day. Anachukua, anaweka. Wow, damn song. That is it. So guys, we are uh, still here, waiting for some more people to be finished up with customs before we proceed on the long journey. 
and here in the border there's a lot of vehicles you know coming from left right and center but man i want to show you what good governance can do so that maybe this video will help guys to actually realize what is the meaning of life look at the place behind me here look at the roads look at the entire environment and uh, just five ten minutes uh, away is like the tanzanian border and about five hours ago we were in uh, rwanda the most beautiful clean developed organized country in africa and actually this country burundi and rwanda the border if you go through that side is only five hours difference from here and you can see the difference is so so huge and this is all because of governance it's all because of systems all because of people wanting to take responsibility man so if there's anybody in government or in parliament from african countries who's watching this look at the small kids right now running to try and beg for some money you know you can never see this in uh, burundi so it's a bit sad you know there's no roads the petrol stations are shut down kids are out here people are really struggling to try to make ends meet you can really see already and we just touched touch the border you can see there's a huge huge difference so yeah man i don't know why people governments cannot just agree leaders cannot just put resources together because it's possible if they want this country can be transformed like its neighbors who's just around the corner the other place burundi in rwanda you know it's just the next door neighbor here or even tanzania and you can see how the difference is so yeah man it's a bit sad look at these roads even the people, they, you can tell they really are in distress. Yeah, anyways, tomorrow we'll see more of this country. I know it's a beautiful country all the same. Uh, there's a lot of corruption also. We've already been asked for to pay money uh, severally, but it's like begging, not forcing you because we had everything in check. But I'm imagining if you didn't have everything in check, how much difficult it would be. Okay, guys, so maybe I'll just do a quick uh, outro when you arrive to where we are going to be staying. And then after that, tomorrow we'll start the new video when it's brighter. Because now it's getting really, really dark. This is Bujumbura, man. No, not Bujumbura, but this is uh, Rwanda. Yes, my friend. Oh, yo, yo. No, actually, I got confused. Not, uh, not Rwanda, it's Burundi. This is Burundi. And not Bujumbura, it's still by the border over here. But soon, we'll be going into the capital and seeing if there's any difference in the capital over there. Yes, and actually, I heard people here are huge huge alcoholics <laughs> i don't know if you're from Roa, burundi can you please comment down below is it true that people from here are very very huge alcoholics but i can imagine it's because of the life they're living it's so difficult and one thing that's making me prove this theory is the people who we came with in this car because it was a private hire we are waiting on two of them because apparently they went somewhere in the bar to drink can you imagine they leave us here they go to drink because now they're in the country and we can't even leave them so that's why we are staying and waiting i even thought they had visa problems or something like that but apparently not is visa problem is alcohol problems they have to take some drinks here it's a bit sad you know but we'll see if for real there is alcoholic alcoholism in this country yeah man that is it